Overcoming resistance. Hmm. Last time we talked about how to address an individual on your team when they don't totally warm up to the idea of growth and learning. This time we're tackling on how to overcome resistance from your entire team. First, nail the communication piece. You have to get this right. Whenever you announce to your team that they're going to receive some sort of job related formalized training, make this experience as positive and constructive as possible. Make the implicit explicit. People are going to worry about their jobs and getting fired. So you should clear that up. Explain that the training is for their benefit and not to suggest that they don't know what they're doing. You recognize that there are opportunities for growth and improvement across your organization and you want your staff to have the support, skills, and training they need to be successful in their careers. Use that word, careers. Express that this professional development extends beyond their job and you value their future and the future of the organization, which is why you're making this investment. You also have to make it really personal. Connect the why to the what. Your team needs to understand why their work matters to you and to your organization, why they matter. Explain how this training will better empower them to support the overall mission. Be specific and give examples. If you can cultivate confidence and courage in your staff, then you're already halfway to empowerment. Now all you have to do is deliver on your promise to train them. Thanks y'all.